Hey, Cameron McKenzie here. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ if you are so inclined. Right now, I wanted to talk to you about data tables. And a lot of people are asking me, how do you add rows to a data table? So in this very quick example, I'm going to show you how to create a data table, how to add rows to a data table, and then even how to take that data table and write it to an Excel file. And I'll show you how to do all of this in less than five minutes. As always, I'll kick this off by creating a new project and I'll call it the add pen data table create Excel because these are all the things that I'm going to do in this particular project. And as soon as the project window starts up, I'll open the main workflow. And the first thing that I'm going to add on here is a build data table activity. So you can find available programming data table build data table. Drop that on here and you're on your way to building crazy data tables. Now, when you do this, you need a variable to hold all the data in your data table. So I'm going to create a variable called my data table, and it's going to be of type data table, system dot data table. That doesn't come up right away. You can always browse for types and look for data table. There's a million of them. Make sure you pick the right one. It's system dot data dot data table. And now you can associate this build data table with that variable you just created, my data table. So now you're gonna be able to use that on multiple operations as you add data to the data table. Now this actually creates a really lame data table because it's only got two columns in it. And if you create a data table, you wanna create three columns because three columns are cool. So I'll call that the third column. It will be of type string and the default value I'll just make it third, and you can see here, and that was just by clicking this button here to add the column. So you see I got one column here, and I'll call that the first column. The second one is of type in, I'll call that the second column. It's of type int, it allows nulls. And then I got the third column I created. So there you go, that's how you create a basic data table with three columns in it. Now. What do you want to do? This is going to be blank. Actually, it's not going to be blank. It actually is going to put text one and third in the table automatically. So if you don't want default values in there for the first record, you can delete those. But I'm going to do it. The more the merrier. But I want to have more than one row in that data table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for that add data row activity. And it's right there. Data table, add data row. I'm going to drag this below here. Now, what data table do I want to work with? Well. It's called my data table. So I'll click on add data row, put my data table in there. And then you've got this option for array row to add an array of values in here. And it's just the basic array syntax. I want to say, well, the first variable is a string. The second one is an int. Third one is a string as well. And now that adds one more row to the data table. I'm gonna, oh, what's the warning that I've got there? Uh, one or more children have validation errors in it. And it would appear that I didn't close my, I didn't put a column in after the one. Yeah, well that would be worthwhile doing. Yeah, just make sure that, uh, make sure you got the right syntax, because if it doesn't compile, it's not gonna work. I'd forgot the comma after the one, right? There's three different columns that we need to work with. Okay, with that done, I'm gonna copy that and then paste it twice. And then in the second column, I'm gonna change it to goodbye world and put the number two in there. And then for the third column, goodbye world kind of sounds a little suicidal. So I'm gonna say I'm back and I'm happy uh, and put the number three in there for world. And there we go. We should have four, call, four rows in our data table. The uh, default values, text one and third and then the three different rows that I've added. Now again, make sure that each of these rows has my data table as the data table type there. If you don't, you'll end up with null runtime exceptions. We do not want those. Okay, so essentially for as far as creating a data table goes and adding rows to a data table, I'm done. But it's always nice to get some visual feedback to make sure that you've actually done all of this properly. So why not write all of this to an Excel file? So this project called Add Append Data Table Create Excel, I'm gonna find that in my UI path folder, there it is. And inside the project's root, I'm gonna create a brand new Excel worksheet. And I'm gonna call this append add.xlsx. Didn't mean to open it. Well, when you open it, you can see that it is indeed blank. There's nothing in it right now. But I'm gonna copy that name. I'm gonna copy that name, 
go back into UiPath and then look for the Excel act activity that allows you to introduce an Excel application scope. I'm going to drag that right down here and in quotes I'm going to provide the name of that Excel file, append add Excel. It's just the file that I just created in the root of that project. And now I can manipulate that. And what do I want to do? I want to add all the data in this data table to that Excel file. And so to do that, the operation is known as the append range. And so there's the append range activity. And I'm just going to drag it right in there. Sheet one's the default, that's okay. And what data table do we want to put in? Well, it's this data table here, my data table that we created and have been manipulating and adding rows to. And so this should open up that append add dot excel file append my data table to the first sheet and then close the excel file and that's about it i'm going to just going to take a quick look make sure there's no exclamation points also i like to make sure that yeah that data table is there the data table is there the data if you forget it anywhere the program's not going to run so just make sure that you've got that correct and i think this all looks good i'm going to click save and then run this file Hopefully no errors happen. Nope, it comes back and it says that it executed quickly. And I'm gonna open up this file and notice inside this file, I have those four rows. Hello, goodbye, I'm back. One, one, two, three, world, 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 third. And that one was the default that happens when you create your data table, just in case you were wondering where that one came from. When you create the data table, notice it has text one and I put third in there, but that's the columns that are automatically added to the data table initially. And there you go. That's how you create, append, and save data tables into an Excel file. And there you go. That's all you need to know about how to work with data tables, create them, add rows to them, even write them out to an Excel spreadsheet. If you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great articles on enterprise software development. If you want to keep up with my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ. And as I always say, subscribe on YouTube.